Batman did this when he found out that Red Hood had killed the Penguin. This story takes place in Red Hood and the Outlaws Rebirth, which I told you guys a million times. Go read it. Jason Todd had found out the reason that his dad was never in his life was because Penguin. Penguin had framed Jason's dad for a crime that he did, which is why he had to do 20 to life in prison and couldn't be with Jason. Penguin was chilling out of fear, trying to act like he was a good guy, and Red Hood pulled up and detonated multiple bombs to get all of the civilians to leave. He then kicks Penguin in the face, takes off his mask, and tells Penguin exactly what he did and how he hurt Jason Todd. This scene is pretty reminiscent to the scene in Back in Black where Peter took off his mask in front of Kingpin, except Peter didn't kill Kingpin in that comic. In this comic, Red Hood pulled out his pistol and shot Penguin in the eye. And this was broadcasted to live television, and guess who was watching it in the Batcave? Batman. For context, in the first issue of this series, Jason promised to Batman that he wouldn't kill anyone while he was in Gotham. Jason is able to evade all of the cops until he encounters the Dark Knight in the streets. And he immediately fires a bunch of non-lethal bullets at him. Jason is clearly holding back, but Batman has no mercy on his son. He kicks Jason in the face, shattering his entire mask. And he picks him up and says, I was a fool forever believing in you. Which Jason replies, I've never seen you hit the Joker that hard and you hate him. Which Batman responds by knocking him to the floor. Batman then tells Jason that he broke the deal that they had, but Jason says, who cares? You know all the crap he's pulled over the years, the people he's hurt or killed, or are you just sad about losing a play date? Which Batman responds again by brutally beating him up. However, Bizarro then comes in and rescues Jason. However, later Batman comes back and again, brutally beats up Jason, not holding back at all. And while his son is bleeding out on the ground, he proceeds to drag him like he's a bag of trash. 